Today we're opening an unknown Yu-Gi-Oh collection. What's up guys, we're back with another collection purchase video. In this one, I don't know what's in here at all, so it's gonna be fun to go through it, but first, of course, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this starter deck, Kyber Reloaded. Someone actually sent me this. It was in a different video. I think it was a collection purchase, and this was supposed to be for the giveaway in that video. I didn't notice this till afterwards where it says giveaway on it. So I'll be giving this away. This includes the Ultimate Rare Blue Eyes. I believe it's first edition, too. No, it's unlimited. Okay, but it's still Ultimate Rare Blue Eyes is in here, guaranteed. So you guys can win that. Like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know what you think about this collection how much should we pay for it let's go through all right let's get into this thing he had a note but it turns out it was uh it was a personal note you know it had like his info and stuff like that in it so it was not like supposed to be on youtube so we'll pull that out we have a couple boxes here oh we got a little uh one of those i think i have a couple sealed ones i don't remember where i got those oh it was in the uh it was in that mystery that old repackaged product we got some of those yeah that was cool all right and we have like a a binder here so let's go through the loose cards first so first off we have these are like the old school sleeves you guys remember these these are like pretty clutch uh, but of course they're a little old at this point but there's some really classic cards these look like a bunch of commons and rares so i'm guessing this is the worst stuff because it's like you know not even in a box or anything or at least not the super valuable stuff is he like triple sleeving these okay they're stuck together i was like what is going on there yeah so these are like i mean we're talking real sticky old you know kind of stuff this is the stuff that was played back in the day you know he played this a bunch let's see what else so far i mean in terms of value not much but in terms of nostalgia and stuff like that you can't even like go through them because they just you, know, you got to do this every time but pretty cool i mean it's always fun to see like the played cards this is like yeah somebody was playing with these they had double sleep because they wanted to keep them safe all that stuff but uh you know it's just the commons but they're such good cards like smashing ground sakuratsu armor just amazing cards and goat and other like formats around there all right these are not in those specific sleeves so we might get through these a little easier giant true nade they are very dusty all right the dd survivor bottomless skill dark swords of feeling snatch steel yeah i mean this is just a lot of classic cards that are really good for your deck honestly seems like a pretty decent oh we got a chaos sork and we got a little bit of goat format going on here basically bottomless strap ball, maybe some reaper we got the amazonist tiger very cool sangan paladin marauding captains are always really fun dark scorpion burglars okay what does this card do Flicks battle damage to your opponent's life once your opponent selects one spell on the room of their deck and sends it to the graveyard. Interesting. It's kind of like a Vampire Lord, except you you don't get to pick. You just, it's a spell card every time. Goblin Attack Force, Torrential. Bunch of nice cards. So not really much value in terms of that, but uh, really cool cards. I think the value is going to come when we get through these like deck boxes and other stuff like that. So let's see what we can find inside. This is definitely an old school collector. This is a first edition D-Mock. Oh my, it's missing part of the name. Look at this. Okay, we got we to gotta pull this out. So these cards so far have not been in the best condition, that's for sure. This seems more like a childhood collection versus like, you know, he's back in the game and he wants to sell like some of his stuff. This is like, this is what I had back in the day. So check this out, the Dark Magician of Chaos. That is not a natural uh, missing name. That looks like it got erased at some point or just, you know, messed with. So at this point, this card is not in great shape, but first edition Demok, very cool. You'd love to see that in the old school. You know, especially coming out of someone's collection. Really, really cool. All right, let's see what else we got. We got Genzo from the tin. Cool. Another Genzo from the tin. All right, are either of these reversed? No, they look, both appear to be normal. Whoa, what is this? Oh, that's PSV. Wait, is this faded? Time out. Time out. Here we go. Let's check this out if I can get these out. All right, this looks really cool. Let's see. The problem is with all this, like, you know, kind of old beat up stuff, you're like, is this natural? This looks like a real fade. What in the world is that? You can't see it at all. Until you, what is that? I don't know what that is. There's a bunch of crap on it, but this fade looks natural though. It actually looks like a real fade because normally if it's sun faded, you can tell. I don't know. I'm gonna have to take a second look at this, but that is actually really cool. I have not seen a Genzo that faded. I've seen some faded Genzos, but not quite to this level. So I'm gonna have to take a second look at this off camera, you know, in the future, but that's a pretty cool card. It's definitely not in good condition though. Very, very cool Genzo. You'd love to see that. All right, that's pretty sick. Let's see what else we can find in here. Karibo, Cyber Dragon, Cyber Dragon, Exiled Force. Wait, what is that? Okay, so I thought I thought something was going on there. Dark Ruler, Hot Dez. That's got something going on with it. Blade Knight. I mean, these cards overall, not great shape, unfortunately, but they are clearly from a childhood collection, so I wouldn't expect them to be like near mints or anything, even light play. Like having an old card, all my cards from back in the day, mod play at best. Like it's impossible to, you know, as a kid to have, even like you double sleeve them. It's like, 
you know, you put them in your pocket, you take them out at the playground, you know, all that stuff is happening. Goblin Attack Force, Freed, Break of the Magical Warrior. Are there any of these first? That's no, limited. That's the Master Collection. I really like that version. You can't see it through those sleeves, though. The DD Warrior Lady. Fiend Mega Cyber is also a little faded. We've got the DD Warrior Lady again. Mega, Mega Cyber actually looks really nice. A faded copy. I'm going to pull out these faded ones. So, I mean, if there's a bunch of faded, it could be from being like sun, but you have to be, you know, you have to take a look at it, see if it's sun or not. Amazon is Chain Master. Swordswoman. A lot of these faded names, but I have a bunch of MFC with those weird, like, faded names. That's like a thing that just happened. Amazon, what is this? DR1. Oh, okay. The Don Zalug. Dad, look at that Don Zalug name. Wow, that is completely gone. All right. We've got ourselves Don Zalug again. He's got a play set of those. And there's the gorillas. Yeah, he told me this in the note. He's like, check out the deck box. There's Berserk Gorillas. There's a first edition one. We will be adding that to my deck. Very nice. And then the uh, King of the Swamps. Cool. Which actually got expensive for a little bit there recently. We got the Spirit uh reaper and then mad dog of darkness cool all right next deck box let's see uh i'm i'm not sure what we should pay for this probably not a lot so far because you know conditions a lot of it's been unlimited but uh so far nothing crazy besides like that jinzo faded if that's legit is actually really cool but uh still bad shape snatch deal that thing is you can see the crease right there wow that thing is creased up that was a, a well-used snatch deal many cards were stolen with that card with the confiscation null and void Oh, why are they all in these sleeves that stick? Okay, drop off. Cool. That's also a little faded. No one of cross out. Heavy storm. Heavy storm. Swords revealing light. Are either Oh wait, that's a first edition LOB. Okay, that's a card. We gotta check this out. First edition LOB does not pop up very often. So let's see what kind of condition it's in. I guess we're hoping for like mod play at this point. That would be nice. It's hard to get it out of these. They're super sticky. You really gotta do it with some force. Alright, this is a glossy print card. A little bit of a bending going on, a little bit of stuff on the surface. The corner issue up there. Okay. Yeah, it's about what we can expect out of here. Really not terrible. Is there any creases? I don't see any creases on it, which is good. So, you know, a little bit of a decent card there. First edition, Swords of Revealing Light. Very cool. All right, Premature Burial. Very nice. We've got the Reinforcement of the Armies. Either of these first dead. There's a first dead right there. Magic Cylinder. That one looks a little weird. It's a little faded, but that seems like maybe it's not legit. I don't know. We'll have to check that one out. That one looks kind of awkward. I haven't seen him faded magic cylinder before, so I don't know. That's first edition, though. Another one. That's unlimited. Then we have, like, a regular one. That's the limited edition one. That's the one I had back in the day. Missing the name. Call the Honda. Here's the problem. Missing the name is, like, not usually a good thing. Like, faded can be a good thing. Missing the name is not usually a good thing. It just looks bad. Torrentials. Unlimited. So we got the first, not first edition. Mystical Space Typhoons. Pot of Avarice. That's cool. Out of Avarice, three of those. Very nice. Graceful Charity. We have an... Oh, I never said the ulti hammer shot up here, but that's the only ulti I've seen so far. Graceful. Mirror Force Unlimited. Mirror Force Unlimited. So, I mean, back in the day, this is like a bunch of really, really nice cards to have. So, it's not like it's a bad collection at all. It's just we're not looking at tons of value so far. I think it's actually a pretty solid collection for like old school, like... If I had all these cards back in the day, I would have lost it. In a good way, by the way. <laughs> yeah, in a good way. All right, so here we go. We're going to check out this. It's a mini binder, so we're going to see what we can do. Skull Archfiend of Lightning. We got a Faded Fire Princess. A bunch of Faded stuff. I, I got to check if it's legit or not. Sometimes it can be hard to tell, but I don't know if that's a legit Fade or not. Because it seems like everything is Faded, so it might not be legit. First edition, Zaborg. We've got a Dark Magician from LOB. That's an original print, of course, because this is all original stuff. Fiber Jar... We've got a Buster Blader, Fiend Skull Dragon, Insect Princess. Is that an ulti? That might, that's an ulti gold. Okay, that's like 100 bucks if it's near mint. I doubt it's near mint, but still, 100 bucks if it is. Sinister Serpent from the game, which is really cool. Dark Balter, First Edition Rice Senshi. We've got an Exiled Force. Yada Garasu down here. A little bit of a fade on that one. We've got Monster Reborn, Dark Hole. Harvey's Feather Duster from the game is pretty expensive. We've got the Skilled by Magician, Big Core Ulti, another Ulti, First Edition, Mazera DeVille. So this is actually a pretty solid binder right here. I'm going to have to check all these and see if any of these are in good shape. Maybe they're a little better because they've been in a binder, which can be worse sometimes. But Rocket Warrior, we've got the Kinetic Soldier and Mobius. End of Anubis, Rageki LOB. We've got Guardian Sphinx from Master Collection. We've got the PSV Thousand Eyes, pretty cool, Unlimited. What else we got here? We've got, oh, a Kree Summon Skull. That's sad. We've got the X VW XYZ Dragon Catapult Ken, a missing name again. We've got the Delinquent Duo, Confiscation, Heavy Storm, Swords Revealing Light. 
Kaiser Seahorse and Makiyora with the Althea Rata. We get the Reflect Bounder, Strike Ninja. All right, some decent stuff. Another end of Anubis, whoops. All right, we've got uh, another Feather Duster. Pretty cool. Book of Life is a very nice card for zombies. We've got Imperial Order. Everyone hates that card. Exchange, very nice. Turn the page to, oh, Nobleman, first edition. We've got Dust Tornado, another Raigeki, Megamorph, Toon World. We've got another Dust Tornado. We've got Ectoplasma. I don't think that's an ulti. Curse of Anubis. Ring of Destruction. Very nice. Then we've got ourselves a first edition mirror wall. This binder keeps trying to fall over. We've got the uh, Solemn Judgment. The Judgment of Anubis. Horn of Heaven. Metal Morph. Divine Wrath. Hollow Life Barrier ulti is actually pretty decent. Death Counter Blow. Big Burn. The card you never know is a foil when you pull it. The Imperial Order. Royal Decree. Is that from DB? Yeah, it is. We've got the Vorce Raider DD Warrior. The Token Festival and the Vampire Lord DCR appears to maybe have a crease down there or something. Whatever that is. Okay, maybe not. That's actually a nice card. Then we have an MST first. Okay, a lot of first editions here, though, which is pretty nice. So I'm definitely going to have to double check all these conditions. CED is very nice. Not first edition, though. Very cool. And then the final page is another Big Burn and BLS is in there. Wow. Another Faded Magic Cylinder. So I don't know what the deal with that is. Overall, a pretty amazing collection, especially if you were collecting back in the day, like all that first edition stuff, multiple Raigeki's Mirror Force. Like you've been the king of the playground for sure. So really, really nice stuff. I'm gonna have to check out all the conditions. I don't think most of them were good at the beginning, but I think the binder has potential to be better. I'm not gonna do that in the video because it might take a while. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you think I should pay for this. Just guesstimate on the conditions based on what you, you've seen and what you think. So let me know in the comments about that. And thank you guys for watching this one. Shout out to Toe Info Show, Daxter, Tomato Juice, JT Cho, TCG Trusted Cards, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Micycle, Melancholy, and then his high show, Christopher Ward, Ian Musa, John Nolan, Junior Barding, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Stanley, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.